So our first step is we need to remove the cup holders. Then we need to remove this because there's some screws behind there. We've got to take this out as well, the climate, we've got to get this bracket off. For that you just need a Phillips and you just need a pry tool or it could, be, could be a screwdriver. So first things first, open the cup holder. There's a Phillips screw right there. So one on each side. There's another screw there. So let's do that side first. Make sure it's magnetic so then you can get the screw out. No, that's one screw. Let's put this on my safe. I want to get this side out. Second screw. Now you don't want to pull it straight out, otherwise you could risk breaking them. There's a little tab underneath, it's hooked in at the top. So you gotta get your pry tool in gently and try and push this tab down. Just keep feeling for it. Don't pull just yet. There we go. Oh, popped back in. Play with it a little bit. Yeah, so that's the bit you have to get down with the pry tool. So once that's out, you can take it all out. So let's close the cup holders. Yeah. So that's out. Smooth out the way. Well, there are screws here as well, we'll take them out. Uh, but first things first, let's get this out first. Then just put your hand under and push or pull out. And then the connector there that we need to take off. Now to take this off, there's a little tab there that you gotta push in. You push that in, push it in on this side as well. There's a black one on this side, red one on that side. Squeeze it in and then it comes out. There's that. And this is out the way. And I need to push and pull this bit out now. Put gently on each side. Pop this side. And pop that side as well. Now this is out, got some connectors, so there's one connector here, again you just got to pinch it, don't pull it from the wire. Alright let's just do this first, so these ones are easy, you just push in there and then we've got to get this lock off, then slide that off, comes out, blue one's on top, black one, same thing. Push at the top, comes off, and then this side it looks like it's got to squeeze these tabs. It's just all a bit fidgety. Right, so for whatever reason, I can't get this to come out. You're supposed to just squeeze this tab and it comes off, uh, but it is a bit difficult, so instead, I'm just gonna move it on the side, move it down here, now there's a screw there, a screw there, that one's already loose, bring that screw out the way, Make sure I don't drop that screw in there. Like that. Let's open these screws. Now 
Now behind the screw there is a metal, metal black bracket. Just make sure you don't lose the bracket either. And do that side. Now this bracket should come off. Gently move it out the way. And again, since this is still connected, we're just going to move it to the side. And now, well, this normally is two screws here. That looks like it hasn't got on there. So now, before I start pulling that, it is hooked underneath here. So what we need to do next is we need to remove this shift boot. So that's easy, just clips on each side, just move it out of the way like that, and then to remove this plastic bit now, and just lift it, and just move it out of the way, I'm just going to turn the car off, get it out of the way. We've got a screw there, we've got a screw there. And then we can lift, pry this up and get this cup holder out. Let's do this. Just remember where the screws go. They are slightly different. So I don't want to drop that anywhere down there either. Give me a moment. Got that. That drop in it. Now let's do this side. Again, don't want to drop it, so I'm just going to go ahead and grab it. Right, so now that's done. So if we bring the camera here. There's the cigarette lighter is connect the connectors here to to get it out. Just remove that first. So I don't know if you got a good angle from there. There it is. So I just need to unplug this. So I gotta either push on the back to pry that up, and then this should unhook. There's one on the bottom side as well. So I'll squeeze them, wriggle it off, so that's off now. So now if we just pry it gently, not too much, because it's still connected the rest of the console. Just pry it up a little bit. And we should be able to get it out. Yep, there we go. So that's out. So now on the back side of this, I've already connected them, but there's three wires there. There's grey, there's red and black, and there's a brown. I am colourblind, so if that's not grey, forgive me. Uh, but the main ones I'm concerned about are the ones that are going into the back of the cigarette lighter. And it's the brown one and the red and black, so I'm guessing brown is ground. And red and black is live, so I've tapped into them with these, so all you do with these is... Make sure you've got the right size depending on the cable, so I've gone for the biggest one. Put it around the cable, just give it a good squeeze and it'll make contact. So you'd have to cut the wires, it taps into them basically. Yeah, so the next thing is we need to put these on this, on these. So we've got the red for power, black for ground. Just need to strip it a bit more. Now I don't have any strippers so I'm just going to use these. It's got a blade on it and I've just got to be a bit careful. As I'll go through the wire. Much easier if you got actual wire strippers. I don't have any. That'll do the job. Again, just twist it around. <laughs> like so. 
So we've got two bar cables. Pull through. Pull through enough. Now I'm just going to crimp it. Oh, squeeze them basically. And then what I do is normally. the plastic off, pop these through the holes. Now I'm no electrician but that's going to make a better contact. Right, and that end plugs into the wireless uh, board, the wireless charging board. Let's go back. And then the next step would be to connect these in now. So I'm going to put black to ground. So I'll literally just slide in. So that's the ground. And then we've got the live. Now ideally you want to test and make sure that is the ground and that is the live. I'm pretty confident so I'm gonna go ahead now all I have to do next is plug that in so it's got power again and then this end it's a micro USB that goes into this so this is the uh, got three wireless charging pads uh, it has got some sticky tape so I can stick it to the back of this so I'll be peeling that off later, I just want to test it first. And this is going to get plugged into... So that's plugged in. And the idea is this is going to sit under here. I'm going to hot glue this to the back of here. And when I put my phone on there, it should charge through this plastic. I'm just going to test that now. Uh, That there. Let's get the scare stick out of the way. And get a selector. So just need to plug this back in. Now there's one way it goes in, this side's rounded, that side's got a sharp corner on it. So you can see it goes in that way. So I've got a blue light, that means that's red now, so that's plugged in, that's got power, so that's right. So let's see if it works, so this is a, this is a Galaxy phone, it's got wireless charging built in. And I'm going to try it direct first and then I'll try wireless after. So the idea is it goes on there and it should charge, there we go, so it's charging. So now, <clears throat> let's see if it can charge through. So I'll hold it up against that, put it on there, and there we are, it's charging. Now is that charging quick? It just says wireless charging. Charging wirelessly. 2 hours and 35 minutes until fully charged from 27% so I'll report back in a few days and I'll let you know in the comments if it's quick or if it's really slow uh, but yeah so all I need to do now is see if I can squeeze it shut now I know it's not going to have no room to breathe but um, other than cutting other than cutting this bit out which I don't really want to do I don't see how this is going to work. Right, so I did a test fit. I didn't show you guys because it was it was a bit of a tight squeeze. I'm not going to lie. So I'm going to go ahead and glue it on there, and I'm going to see how it goes. If it's too tight, then I might have to cut into uh, the lower compartment that I showed you earlier. Uh, but yeah, so for now, I'm just going to hot glue it on here so that it doesn't move around. So first things first. 
and stick this to the board. And then I'm leaving this plugged in because I don't know if you guys can see there's a little lip. So if I do glue it flat against it, there's a good chance I'm not going to be able to get the charger back onto it afterwards. So it's going to sit up a little bit on that side. So that's the reason I'm going to leave that in. So I'm just going to glue it on. I'll try and get it in the centre. Um, yeah, I'm trying to get it in the centre as much as I can. I'm going to tidy these cables up. So I've just got a cheap little glue gun. I'm just waiting for it to warm up. So I'm just going to put some here. Put some there. Right, so I've got a bit of drops there. Put some here. That looks like it's about right in the middle. We push too hard, we don't want to damage the board. And then when we're happy with it, we can add more glue around the edges. So I'm just going to let that dry. So now it's dried a bit, I'm just going to add some more inside to that little gap there. You want to seal it all around because then there's nowhere for the heat to escape. So I'm not going to do a full seal all the way around. It's just enough to keep it in place. At least while I'm fitting it. Once it's fit, it's got nowhere to go. So it doesn't look like the cleanest of jobs. But as long as it stays there, that's all we need. Alright, so that's dried now. Now the next thing is just going to tidy this up a bit. So normally you would screw it down somewhere. Uh, obviously there's no space to put it here anyway because you know, as you know there's not enough space. So I'm just going to tidy these up. I've got some velcro. I'm just going to strap these up. I'm just tidying this up. While I'm doing this I'll show you. So this is a 12 volt in it takes. So from the cigarette lighter 12 volt perfect. And then it steps down to 5 volts which is what this uh, wireless charging pads need. Uh, I got these off Amazon, uh, really cheap. I'll put the link in the description. Uh, they do come from China, so there is a bit of a wait unless you can source them locally. So I've velcroed that to that nice and neat. So there should be enough space underneath the cigarette light a bit for that to just sit there or um, push it further down, maybe. I'm not going to glue it on, I'm going to leave that loose. So now I just need to go back to the car, put it in place, plug it in, and hopefully, well, it should work. So now let's test it. Before we start screwing it down, let's just make sure it actually works. Yeah, that's got power. So. So, put it on there, so that's charging, so that's good so far, 
So I'm just going to put everything back together, see if it closes nicely. I mean, that looks like it's working fine. And then I'll show you the finished product. So I've got everything back in place. So that's what it looks like. So a couple of this will work. And then just drop your phone on there. That's a bit of a big phone. Just drop your phone there and then it charges. That's a wireless charging sorted. Um, this still opens and closes fine. Um, so yeah, that's uh, good enough for me. I don't know how quick it's. Obviously, this phone's quite big, so I have to get it in on the right angle like that, and then it'll charge. So good job. Happy with that. Obviously, I still got the. Uh, I've got the dual uh, charging port here. If my cameraman shows you. <laughs> so I can plug in two USB cables. I can charge my wife's phone at the same time as mine. Um, we've got three phones charging at the same time now. Yeah, pleased with that. I did scratch it a bit in the process, so I don't know what I'm going to do. Uh, I might wrap it or I might just change this in the future. Just make sure I put it back together carefully next time.